Hello Fixsters! Today's topic is the Quick Select algorithm. I will make an overview of uh, the article section by section. So, what is the Quick Select algorithm? Uh, it's an algorithm that returns the element based on its absolute index, i.e. the index uh, it would otherwise occupy in the ordered list. Uh, for the rest of uh, this article, we'll call it the target element. So, about finding uh, the target element and a brute force approach, the main principle is first we sort the list, then directly access the element we need. Uh, this is a slow and expensive approach for long lists and the target element, as we can see, always comes after the smaller elements and before the larger elements in the list. Here in this example, the target element is uh, the one with the value 12, with all the smaller elements coming before it and all the larger elements coming after it. So, uh, as we go towards the quick select algorithm, uh, here is important to notice that the left and right elements don't have to be ordered among themselves. In, even though in this sorted list they are, uh, they don't need to be. We can have a, a 4 on the first place or on the 0th place. Uh, we are using a 0 based index. We can have 8 bit 4 before 7, 22 in the end. But what matters the most is that uh, the element with, uh, with its value 12 is uh, fixed on its absolute position. Uh, Furthermore, uh, the list doesn't need to be ordered at all to retrieve the target element. Uh, as the other elements must be grouped or partitioned, which is the term we'll be using uh, in, in, uh, in the rest of uh, this story. Uh, so the other elements must be grouped or partitioned around the element according to its smaller, larger relationship, meaning regardless of, uh, of the ordering of these smaller or these larger elements, the smaller ones, as uh, I said before, always must come before the target element and the larger ones must come after it. What we also need, uh, we need methods or schemes to rotate or pivot the elements and form the partitions separated by the pivot element. So by adhering to this rule, larger elements on the right side, uh, smaller elements on the left side, we have actually formed two partitions, left with the smaller numbers or smaller elements and right with the larger elements. Uh, in the following section, uh, the concept of quick select is this, every pivot will be assigned to its absolute position by the end of the iteration with systematically formed partitions around it. Uh, the second key point is that a pivot is uh, the target element or if it's not the target element it can direct us uh, to partition which will contain the target element uh, so we just need to apply one more or several more iterations and drill down uh, this partition of interest and uh, we'll surely find uh, the target element. Uh, the next key point is the following. Uh, by systematically forming partitions with pivots placed between them, so as you can see in this example once again, this is the pivot element uh, the elements are uh, beside it and the pivot element is placed right in the middle. So uh, the pivot element is uh, an element that will be produced uh, by the end of each iteration of our algorithm. Uh, to continue to the next section, I will shortly describe Lomuto and uh, the Juarez partition scheme, so uh, some specifics of the Lomuto partition scheme are that the rightmost element, it doesn't have to be like so, but I chose it to 
to make an example in the algorithm, uh, I chose that the rightmost element is declared a pivot, so it's declared by choice. It could have also been the leftmost element or uh, by some, uh, some uh, partition schemes, it might be uh, some kind of a random element in between. Uh, the next important thing is that uh, the Lomuto, Lomuto partition scheme uses two scanner variables. Uh, they are called finder and replacer, and they are used to systematically form uh, the partitions by scanning both at the same time from left to the right side toward the pivot and exchange the misplaced elements relative to the pivot. It means that uh, if uh, they detect, which is described in, uh, in the in the implementation of uh, the partition, if they detect that uh, two elements are misplaced, i.e. that uh, the larger element is uh, currently placed in, in the opposite uh, partition and the smaller element is also placed in the opposite uh, partition, they exchange it, uh, or in other words, they uh, put it in, their, in the partition where they belong. Uh, the partition, uh, sorry, the iteration ends by putting the declared pivot uh, between the regular partitions. Uh, what we mean by regular partitions uh, is that uh, the partitions are formed following uh, the presented scheme. So it has to be in a systematic, uh, defined, well-defined way. Uh, furthermore, uh, let's skip to the HOARES original partition scheme. Uh, similar to the Lomutos partition scheme, uh, the HOARES partition scheme also uses uh, two scanner elements. Uh, the rightmost element is declared a pivot, again by choice. And uh, the two scanner elements this time are called L for left one and R for right one, as you'll see in the code. And they systematically form uh, the partitions by scanning from left to right simultaneously. So, uh, please make a distinction. In the previous partition scheme, both scanners uh, were scanning from left to the right. And in Hoare's original partition scheme, one uh, scanner comes from the left side and goes to the right and the right scanner starts on the right side and goes to the left. Uh, this partition scheme, HORS one, uh, ends uh, when, when uh, the two scanners cross and uh, the definite end of this partition uh, is marked again by placing the declared pivot, the one on the rightmost side, between those two partitions. Uh, following one partition after another, uh, we can be sure that eventually we'll come to the target element. It will be found, always. Uh, regarding the second section, quick select implementation and testing, uh, there are a few simple points to say. Uh, you will read more about uh, the algorithm in the, in the presented code, but uh, here I would like to emphasize that uh, the quick select function, the outer function by itself, is a very simple one, and uh, most of the logic is actually placed in the partitioning function inside uh, the quick select function. Once again, uh, here we have uh, freedom of choice, we can select, we can uh, decide to implement the Lomuto uh, partition scheme or the uh, Hoares original partition scheme. You just have to copy uh, the body of uh, the appropriate function here instead of this line. These are some uh, trivial condition checks if uh, index of the target element is out of bounds, uh, the algorithm ends, if, uh, 
if it's uh, negative or longer than the than the list, uh, this ends the algorithm. Uh, furthermore, we have to initialize the partition limits before the partitioning starts. So the before the very first uh, iteration, the left limit is initialized to zero and uh, the right limit is initialized to, to the last element of the list. And of course, one more trivial check, if the list has only one element, uh, the algorithm should be ended because uh, that must be the target element we are looking for. And here goes the first uh, iteration, the first call of the partition uh, function, depending on the on the scheme you choose, you chose to implement. Furthermore, uh, during uh, the during the efficiency analysis, I would like to emphasize several key points. The first one is that uh, the quick select algorithm is actually uh, the quick select algorithm's complexity is actually totally dependent on the underlying scheme because uh, the partitioning scheme does all the heavy lifting, all the work. Uh, the quick select function only calls it and uh, uh, and uh, makes uh, these trivial checks and initializations. Uh, furthermore, <coughs> Hoare's original partition scheme is uh, several times more efficient than Lomuto's partition scheme. And uh, one interesting point is that both schemes' average case time complexity is big O n times log of n. And their worst uh, case time complexity is uh, big O of n squared. You can read more about it in uh, this section why is it so and uh, in what cases. So, uh, for the conclusion, I would, uh, I would uh, point out that a quick select algorithm is a very good choice for random, unordered, average to long lists of elements. However, uh, if you have a shorter or mainly sorted lists, they uh, require a more appropriate, simpler algorithms, such as an insertion sort. So, with, uh, with this overview and all the details you can find in this article, I hope you'll find it interesting and uh, that you'll get a hang of it, what uh, a quick select algorithm is, how it works, and that you'll find it fun as I did in the end, uh, as well as I did find it a very useful one. Thank you for your attention and until the next time. Bye.